the pushing in labour that we see so liberally on television, film and documentaries. That part of birth where the baby is imminent, displayed for the viewer with a sweaty, chin to chest mum being shouted at by her caregivers. Push! Push harder! Push properly! Get angry with your baby! Hold your breath! Stop breathing out! You're not trying hard enough! But is there another way? Simply put, yes. The fetus ejection reflex. This reflex is the body's own ability to smoothly bring the baby into the world. It's a surge of adrenaline that washes into the woman, waking her from the trance-like state in which she has been labouring or resting. A series of intense and involuntary surges contractions, waves, occur, moving the baby out of the uterus and into the birth canal. Nerves in the pelvis are stimulated and this feedback to the brain releases more oxytocin, resulting in two or three big, powerful, all-encompassing surges where the baby is born easily, swiftly and without voluntary pushing for mum. However, there is a catch. The fetal ejection reflex seems to happen more readily without intervention. In dark, calm spaces, where the mother is left to labour or rest without interruption or question. As midwife, Marianne Littlejohn states, physiological birth is an involuntary process related to activity in the primitive brain and body structures. It occurs best when a woman's parasympathetic nervous system is operational and she is in a state of trust. A dark, calm, quiet and almost solitary surrounding serves the mother best for labour and birth. Birth is not a voluntary action. We as mammals require exactly what every other mammal requires to give birth. Calm, dim lighting, no distractions, no unwanted observers, and no questions. Nothing, in fact, that requests the thinking brain joins the party. We also need to be mindful of our own fear this intense pressure against the rectum can leave women feeling really vulnerable that they may lose control of their bowels. And this can increase the fear of being watched and observed. Thus a holding on can occur. I can tell you now, however, that poo in birth is normal and nobody is going to blink an eye. Of course, there will be times when some women and babies need more support and assistance. There will be times when you may need to work a bit harder to move your baby down and out. But birth can and does regularly happen without it being told to, without it being cajoled, requested or monitored. You could, in fact, say that birth happens in spite of us, if we're just willing to give it the space, understanding and opportunity.